Okay, so without further ado, Vasile, go ahead, take it. Hello, everyone. I hope everybody can hear me good. Uh, one more time, I'm Vasile Turkan, and I have been the London Foster for multiple years now. I'm working in the marketing department, and um, I'm doing marketing, but my I'm specialized in online marketing. I'm doing marketing for brokerage for office. I'm doing marketing consulting for realtors and I'm a realtor myself. And of course I need to know how to uh, market myself and use some of these uh, tools to get some leads, to get customers. Um, how you already mentioned this fancy word IDX. <laughs> Today we'll talk about IDX website. Uh, guys, this is a very powerful tool, what is a must have. And I can explain you in a couple of words why. Uh, first of all, what is an IDX for people who are not really familiar? Uh, I, I'm 100%, I can say 300% sure you know the website Zillow.com. Zillow.com, it's the same platform, it's the same software, IDX. Zillow, it is an IDX website. IDX is actually a software uh, what is using to get all the MLS listings from the association to copy them on your personal website. Well, the difference between Zillow and a realtor website is the traffic. Zillow is getting a tons and they're investing a lot of money in marketing and they get a lot of traffic and they're selling that leads to other realtors. But the principle is the same. You can have your own Zillow or how we call it IDX website, drive traffic as well and um, work with your customers. Another important thing about the IDX website guys, five years ago, to have your own website, it was a fancy, you know, tool. And it was fancy because it was very expensive. You need to buy a separate host. You need to buy a design. You need to hire a developer. That developer have to put everything together. Also, you have to buy IDX separate, what is minimum like $50 a month, to connect all that thing together. And also you need to pay for the maintenance of that website. Websites is like everything else. They go bad, good. Sometimes they are not opening on mobile, you know, many stuff. Uh, this is why maintenance. At these days, we, we living in the technology era. Everything is so, uh, uh, it's more, it's so cheap. I mean, you can, it's actually not considered an investment. It's a must have to, it's like printing your business cards. Well, you, when you're printing your business cards, you don't really, you know, think uh, you should print for 30 bucks more or 30 bucks less. I mean, you have a number in your head, how many you giving every month and you print every month the same business card amount or every three months. Same is here with this website. Website is like a business card. You create one and you can keep it for yourself in your pocket, but to have a result is better if you just start sharing that. And uh, this is what I want to talk, why you actually need an IDX website. You need IDX website be because people are searching you and they want to know how professional you are. I want to share my, uh, my last experience uh, with my last buyer. Uh, it was interesting because the buyer actually invited me to, to Lincoln Road for a coffee to screen me. The buyer gave me all the questions like what I think about the market, uh, what I think about the condominium he likes, what I think about will be like a reasonable price for him to pay, what I think will be five years from now the price. You know, they screen myself. And at that time I realized if he invited me for a coffee, that means he already Googled me and he already, you know, uh, make his research, his homework, to see who I am and if I have any experience. Because buyers now, they, they want to change of experience. They don't really contacting you because they need real estate. I mean, 
they need realist online you can find everything your buyers stay on zillow on realtor.com they make screenshots and send you via whatsapp group um, this is why they they contacting you because they need somebody locally they need an expert to make sure they're making the right decision this is why when you have a website you look much more professional this is very powerful too and let me share my screen and i will show you how exactly it works perfect okay uh, first what i did i put in google memo valverde and let's try again Now what you see, when you Google a realtor name, like Memo, you see the first website is memovalverte.myrealestateplatform.com. This is the IDX website. He is number one. He's even more powerful than realtor.com, than londonfoster.com, than LinkedIn account. It's because Memo is investing his little bit of time. He's sharing some links on social media. He's doing his homework. And it's not much, believe me, it's not much, but looks so much professional because people can just Google for your number. Maybe they forgot about your number or and they say, wait, wait, that guy, Memo, Memo Valverde. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I, tie, I tie my social media to my website daily. So every single day I'm sharing either a property, a blog, a uh, review something that's on my website i'm constantly sharing it on one or two or three or all my social media this is an exactly correct way to do it and i see mama you have your own design you work really hard to make your own design how you like this is amazing let's very it's, it, it, it wasn't that hard but thank you no I, I i went out one day i have a fiat convertible and i grabbed my phone and i just started taking pictures from my phone, from my head, from the rooftop, from the, what do you call this, the, the, sun, the sun, whatever, the, the convertible, <laughs> the, the hole in the roof. And uh, I turned them black and white and then I turned them blue. And so I, I, I created some neighborhoods, but you know, Vasile helped me out. He taught me a lot, but, but a lot of it was the videos that are on Playster. And it took me two, three days. Exactly. Well, which is, I, I want to show you guys why you need the website. Yes. And because of the search, look, we, we Google Bobby Mahalati and we see the most powerful page is London Foster, I guess, because a lot of people associate him directly with the company and they go there. LinkedIn account, of course, because it's very powerful. But look here what we have on the first page as well. Bobby.myrealestateplatform.com that's a IDX website what London Foster is providing for the realtors. And if we click to that website, you go to Bobby's page. Um, now let me show you a little bit um, about these websites. You see, you have the search menu right here. That means your customer can search, you know, about like uh, real estate. You have the full menu and you can put about your your testimonials about you about the company you're working with your listings you can customize the website the way you want to look like you actually have about 20 design you can choose on the first page you also can put the future listings and uh Bobby choose to put the most expensive listings in the zip code 33139. But if you're working in a different zip code, you can customize in that way. If you have more than six listings and they have beautiful pictures like that, you can put your listings to be on the first page. This will be awesome and amazing. You will promote your listings. If you scroll down, you have the blog post right Basile, here. Basile, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, we're getting some questions. Yeah. Um, I wanna I wanna make sure to to answer them. The first question uh, was I don't see who it was from because I think I answered it by mistake. Here we go. Uh, paying thirty nine dollars per month, we have to create our own website. 
I don't have an idea how to do it. It'd take me forever. Maria Quevedo. Maria, no, absolutely not. We will create the website for you. We will create the basic website, just like Bobby's. What Vasile was describing about customizing is something that I did. I decided to take the regular website and change the pictures. I decided to add new pages. That's something I take up on myself. But the basic website, like the one that he's showing you for Bobby, that I, one is I, created no, for you. Interruption, but guys, if you stay to the end, I will explain all the steps. And okay. Please stay to the end because you'll, you, I will show you how exactly we do and how it, what I mean by creating your own and what exactly we do for you. Yes. Um, I see another question here about the social media to the website. And okay. If it needs help, of course, we will cover that and I will show you how to request that help. Um, but let's, yeah, navigate to this website and see in the first page, we also have the blog posts. Blog posts and on these websites, they can be automated generated by the third party. And you need blog posts to have more pages. When you have more pages on your website, it's giving more credibility to the Google and you get, you know, you, you rate, you get your rating is getting higher. That means you have more probability to be on the first page. Of course, when you scroll, you have your contact information. You have your phone, email, and a get in touch form. People can contact you. You have a professional picture you can use. And um, yeah, and of course you have social media. How you can see here, we have YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. You can put many more. It's up to you. You can add LinkedIn, Pinterest, wherever you use it. Um, okay. Let's search. Also, I want to show you guys about different IDX websites. For example, I using myself and I, because I started my website like so long ago, I didn't use, uh, this one from London Foster, I use my own and believe me, I spent so much money to, you know, to be on the, on the first page. And I focus on keyword pre-construction. And you can see uh, MiamiPRE.com is on the first page. This is my website. You see logo London Foster. And you see here Vasil Turkan group. And you have the listings. Okay. Now, if somebody will Google my name and pre-constructions, everything is related to me, they will get to, to my website. They will see everything about myself. Um, now, um, about another reason why you need a website is the CRM, is the customer relationship management, okay? Because it's very, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of clients of yours and you have this experience, they make screenshots on Zillow and send you via WhatsApp and asking, send me more information about that property. I will show you how your customers can actually uh, do that on your own website and you can track all the listings they, they, uh, they, they are searching. Let's go, for example, to Bobby's website. Let's search for a property. Let's say uh, first rule. I will say first rule will be to ask your customer when you're giving them the website to make an account and log in. If your customer are logging in, in the website, you able to track all their 
uh, movements. You, you, you can see all the properties we are uh, looking. This is why, let me log in first. And I think I'm logging already. Now let's go to search. Let's say city Miami Beach. Let's say minimum price, I don't know, let's say 150. Maximum price, let's say 200. You see how easy it's giving you options to, to choose. And let's see, for example, I, I, I'm, I don't looking for studios, just from one bedrooms and up. I'll just put one bedroom is the minimum. You click search and you have all the uh, search details right here. On the left, you have a map. On the right, you have all the options with pictures. You also able to change here to have like a list and you can see all the properties with pictures like that. I am pretending you now I'm the customer and I'm looking to, to buy something. Let's say for example, I like this one. I opening. Now, what I see, I see the pictures and I see all the details from MLS, like price, square footage, how many bedrooms. I see the HOA fee right away. It's 387, it's not bad. I see the descriptions. Also, I can fill the form, I have a question, you see? That form will go to your email. And guess what, I don't see the listing agent. In this property, I see just your information. That means I need to contact you to get more information about the property. Let's fill one and I'll show you how it looks. Good. And you also can ask your customers to save this property in the favorites. You see this button right here, this star? You click and you save in the favorites. Now, let's log in in the Bobby's account in his CRM to see what we see on the back end. This is the back end of the website. You have the dashboard, you have IDX, because you can have multiple IDX, not just Miami. You have the CRM, email, and other menu. We need to go to CRM. And here we will see the, a minute ago, do you see this? A minute ago, Vasil Turkan, that means the customer, appears in the CRM. Here, I can see all the activities, all the properties, what I search, what properties I like. For example, in notes, uh, no, you can make notes, but in, let me see, in uh, favorite listings, I see that favorite. I remember I click on that star, I put the listing in favorite. Now I can see it right here. This is same like, uh, like uh, the app from the MLS, MLS Go, meaning if your customers are looking something online and they put favorites and you're able to track that, same with IDX. You're able to track everything your customers are doing on your website. The only thing they need to be registered. Uh, when, you re when the customers are requesting more information about the listing, you not always need to be in the CRM to, you know, to track that because you can miss someone. 
of course, you can set up and you get the email. And do you see this email right here it says lead event notification. When I click, I see the name of the client, email, phone, property he was interested, the message, and uh, other details. You can contact this person right away and get in touch to see, you know, to qualify him because the qualification is already a different uh, step you need to do. Okay, what is the difference from Agent 300 from MLS? Um, I will be honest, I am not really super familiar with Agent 300, but uh, you need to check if Agent 300 is offering the same uh, back office because a, agent 3000 does not have a CRM. It's simply an IDX website. That's one Two agent 3000 is not branded to London Foster. So you'd have to get your own uh, URL, which will probably cost you around $39 a month. Anyway, like if you go to GoDaddy or something like that and got like, I don't know, the seal dot re dot com. Uh, so that's that's part of it the the whole idea of this website is that it is user friendly the integration to your brand and the integration to your crm and finally which was is going to go on later is to be able to create email campaigns and be in contact with your clients even when the client is dead even when the client is not active even when the client is not looking and always bringing them back to your website. So that's the difference. Exactly. This is exactly what I want to ask you if, to check if that website is offering actually all these options what our website is offering. And to answer the question from, I don't know, I couldn't see it because it's like, again, I'm going blind, but somebody with an L asked, how much is the setup? That's the whole point. We set up the website for you for free. The creation of the website, all of the, all of the techie part of it, well, London Foster will do it for you for free. The only thing that London Foster is charging you, and I'm using quotation marks because we're not charging you, is the um, hosting of your website. The hosting is $39 a month. London Foster does not make a penny off of this. It's simply what Playster is charging us. Uh, Playster normally charges, and you can go to Playster. It's P-L-A-C-E-S-T-E-R. If you go through it individually, they charge $99 a year, I'm sorry, a month. And obviously since we buy these in bulk, they give it to us uh, for only $39. So you actually get a $60 discount, which is $720 a year uh, to do it through London Foster. Plus we give you a free URL. Yes, you're absolutely right. I mean, <clears throat> the, um, um, about the charges, the Playster is not just charging $99 a month. They are also charging $99 flat fee for the setup. Um, with us, you, you don't pay that. Let's continue with the options we have on uh, what we offer here. This is a back office of the website and you see on the top you have this menu. I want to go really quick to the menu. Uh, you, get, you have the, your website and you can uh, open and edit your design. If I'll click here to edit my site. I have the blog post and the question, of, uh, I have the questions before if you can connect the WordPress blog and this website blog. No, that's not possible. You need to duplicate your blogs here because each website has his own pages based on the domain. Here is the blog post. The, the cool thing about this IDX website, they offering already the blogs. And what you need to do is just need to turn on the auto publish and the blogs will Vasile, be- Vasile, can I ask you a question? But yeah. in, that, in that instance where she's writing a blog separately, all she would have to do is deactivate the, the Playster blog and create a new page that's tied to her page, correct? She could add a new page called a My Super Real Estate Blog 
and just add a page on her on her website. Yes, you can do, but anyway, you need to re rewrite. She can't. She can't merge them. She can't you merge the two. Cannot merge. But she she could have two pages, two blogs, or close off the Placer blog and just keep her blog open. So yeah, yeah you can do that. You can you can have the menu, and you can have in that menu a redirection link. That means if right. somebody clicks on that menu, they go to a different website. But my recommendation. That's what I meant. <laughs> That's what I meant. Okay, but my recommendation will be if you're already writing the blogs, it's much, much better if you're writing that blogs on this website to be attached to this domain because this is how is increasing the domain credibility to Google. Yes, Smart. and you, you can uh, uh, create a blog really easy. Also, the website like use on the back office is very, very easy. I mentioned that uh, all the websites we creating for realtors, maybe just 50% from, from these realtors, we are going to the back office to use all the tools. Uh, some of them, they just leave the website like that forever. They never go to login in Playster in the back office. But you need to check it out because maybe the future listings. Remember, I told you I put Bobby's... Uh, first page to be the most expensive listings. If you see here, the price are highest on the zip code 33139, right? On the future listings on the first website, on the first page, you can put whatever you want. You can change, for example, instead of 33139, uh, let's put, um, I don't know, give me in memo zip code. 33140. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's a little bit further up. <laughs> I thought you'll give me something in fine, Chris, but it's okay. No, three, okay. Do, 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 do 33138. Do 33138. Okay. When we publish that, and it will go back to Bobby's website, and we'll click a refresh. Oops. Not yet. I think it takes a minute. It lags a minute. Yes, it actually will take um, some time, and uh, it's because of the cache is saving in my computer. But is you can customize how you want, how you want. If you click search, you can see here the results are different now. They're on the 51 Street. 60th Street and stuff like that, not on South of Thief. Okay, let me explain that to Mike. Hi, Mike. Um, Mike, the way that the IDX works is basically IDX is if you want to call it a translation language. So let's say English to French, it translates from English to German and from German to French. So basically, what it is is that the entire MLS listings, anyone who publishes a listing on the MLS and clicks internet okay, that gets translated to German, which is IDX, and IDX then translates it into the, the program, which is our website. So basically what Vasil has done is he took the entire MLS and he said, no, I only wanna look at listings in this website, I'm sorry, this zip code under the sort by price. So that's why it appears that way. But absolutely, these are listings from anyone in the state of, of uh, anyone in the association um, that we can access. And the, the reason why we do this is because this way, if Basile has a listing and Patty has a listing and Nick has a listing and they're at all three different companies, I can advertise it through my website, share it with my clients, and when my clients look at the property, the only contact information that they have is to reach out to me so that I can provide them a further service on any listing that is on the MLS. Exactly. Now we have another question says, I need to upload my social media pages on my website. How do I do that, Max? Thank you, Max. Um, look at the screen. When you go to your Playster account and you log in here, you click to these three dots and you go to, okay, give me one second. Go to edit site. 
when you go to this edit site menu, you will have social networks. It says link your social pages to your site. You click here and from here you paste the continue of the link for any of the social media you want. I would recommend Max and anybody who's interested in doing this before you even get started, gather all your information first. I actually keep it in an Excel file. I keep all of my Excel together. I keep all of my passwords together, all my URLs, all my logins together, and I have an Excel file, so when I need it again. So I have my LinkedIn, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Reddit, my YouTube, my, I have them all, it's like 25 of them. And so when I need them, I can just copy and paste them. But Vasile gave you a really good hint, which is that if you look at that, Vasile, can you go back there? If, if, if you look at that, what it does, is that it gives you the beginning already filled out. So all you have to fill out is everything from the backslash over. So then you just, you just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, and then you scroll down and you save it. Literally takes less than 30 seconds. Exactly. And the website is very self-explanatory. It's very easy. And, and social media is huge. I can tell you all of my clients, when they go to my website, they go through all my social media. They go through my Facebook, my Instagram, my LinkedIn. People want, people want to stalk you. They want to know a little bit more about you. They want to feel a connection to you. So it's a great idea to link those all. I agree. The next, I want to show you how many <clears throat> type of themes you have. If you see here, we have 11 type of themes. If you didn't like that Bobby's theme, what we offer right away, you just log in here and you can switch it. You can change to something else. Like, like this one, for example. And choose the color. Blue to be more like London Foster. And you click here, save. You click dismiss now, and you click to see the live website. Right here. You see, just a couple of clicks, now you have a new website. <laughs> it's a new design, but it's the same information. And now, how I promised you earlier, I changed it. My favorite area now is not 33139, it's 33140. And I have all the most expensive listings from this zip code right here. You also have the blog and you have the contact information. You can choose any designs you want. You also can change the designs once a week, once a month, how you want to play it. Let's continue. Um, another interesting and cool feature, feature will be the, the first slide. If you see here, you have these slides and Honestly, these pictures I got from some listings, from some free stock pictures, but you also able to make these slides your own pictures and you also can link them to your listings. You just go here to slideshow, you click on slideshow, you click a new slideshow and you customize the slideshow how you prefer. Um, important here will be the auto publish. I recommend to all if you don't writing your blogs every two weeks, every month, please turn on the auto publish and the blogs will be published on your website automatically. Very important feature is the lead capture. You have you have a couple of options. You can be the passively capture lead. That means you will never request from your customers to log in to see more details about the property. You can be actively. What does that mean? Actively means at the fifth time when the same customer is looking to see more details about the property, 
you will force them to leave the email and phone number. You will say, if you want to see the property, you need to leave your contact information. And also you can choose aggressively. What is actually, I love it because I want to control. If they, wanna, if they don't wanna log in, they're not my customers. Aggressively is amazing. You force them to leave the contact information anytime they're looking for a property. Let's save this. Basil, can you say that again? Because I think that that is so awesome that you said that. Okay, sure. I, I just saved it. And uh, let's refresh this website. And we'll... oh, can, you say, can you say that again? Because I think that's so awesome that you said that um, about being aggressive on your, on your website and what, what, when your client is really your client. Well, I... yes. Also, because I'm asking my clients, listen, I want to see what properties because I'm here Look, if you want to just, just see beautiful pictures of the properties, you can go on million websites on the online, on Zillow, wherever, you'll see so beautiful <laughs> pictures. But I'm here also to give you some advice. You know, if you see some properties, I have more information and more knowledge to tell you, listen, this building, maybe they have a huge assessment. Maybe this building is, you know, have some um, things I want to disclose. Uh, this is why, please leave the information. I will take a look what kind of properties you like to understand what they can offer you for future. Yeah. And this no, but is I, I just think, I think it's a really good um, a parting point when you're, when you're talking about this. Uh, people are not gonna be stalking your website just because they're bored and looking for properties. If you have that, that person looking then you probably want that person to move along but if you have someone who is actually your client someone who's actively interested in finding a property uh, you want them to register you want them to make sure and like Basil said the reason why they went to that website is because they're following you on Facebook they're following you on Instagram they're following you on Twitter uh, you've spoken and they said hey listen I'm looking for a place oh I've got the perfect website for you log in here this is what you do you know, because then once that relationship is established, then that person is your client. Um, another thing was that, Vasile, can you show real quick, and I'm sorry, because I know you were, you were on one side, but can you show Maria Quevedo, because she's saying that you're doing it so naturally and so instantly and that you've done this a million times, uh, where the video section is, where it has all the trainings on how to do everything? Um, on Placer? Where the video is, okay. I, okay, I need to actually go to placer.com. I will right. uh, note and I will show you. Okay. Yes, this is a very good question because guys, Placer is a third party, is a professional party who offers all this amazing service for $99 a month. Mm -hmm. And they actually have, this is the cheapest version, $99 a month. What, you know, they actually have 99 a month they charge. Yeah. And the realtors, they pay that. The professional realtors, they, they need a website, they actually- But there's an entire library of videos. This and is that's why, how I, it's yeah. a, they offer full support for that man. They have a live support, you know, they, you, when you call, even if you get the website through, through us, you call, you tell them you have a paid website and they will give you full support, full support. That's how I did, Maria, just so you know, that's how I did the updates that I did is that I looked at the videos and they showed me how to change the color. They showed me, they showed me how to change the pictures. They showed me how to add pages. All of that is a library of videos and the videos are like 10 minutes. They're not... They're not like, you know, three hour extensive. It's super intuitive. It's super easy. So absolutely, once you become a member and once you've paid that $39 a month, you have an entire library of, of videos. I just wanted to answer that because it sounded like Maria was, that is great. Okay, Maria's happy, good. What I'm trying to show you is how aggressively is requesting the information um, because, you know, it's a website is actually taking a little bit of time. I'm constantly updating, but it seems like it's taking a little bit more. 
but I log out and logically now when I want to click on the property to see more information will ask me to register first and to log in but not yet okay that's fine we will try later on uh, let's go back to menu and see what cool features we have here custom domain now custom domain it's another very important must have feature please please buy your own domain that's like ten dollars some a year it's nothing but you'll have your name realtor.com or your first and last name.com if you can get try to brand yourself with a domain placer is offering a free subdomain that like your name that my real estate platform.com um but we, we provide one also Basil. we, we provide the the name london foster. Like a name for example your name memo dot london foster dot com as well um this is cool you can use on business cards you can use on but when you have your own domain is i just giving you the advice is much better um To put your custom domain, it's, it's case by case. It depends where you buy the domain. For example, GoDaddy, you have the step-by-step -step instructions, but we also do that for you. If you decide to have your own domain linked to your website, no problem, we will do that for you. We need for many realtors. Also, you have testimonials here. You have the page and you can leave all the testimonials from your customers uh, and um, you know people will be able to to see that on your own website another okay uh, memo we have any questions or something to answer because i want to move to the crm go ahead go ahead no somebody was asking about uh, guys honestly the, the, that's the whole purpose of why you're doing this is we have the url through london foster it's branded through london foster a, you're going to benefit from the SEOs if you're using that. Um, so yeah, you can obviously do your own thing, but this, if this is free if and it's much easier. Me, we will do the that London Foster.com as well. Yeah. Well, so we, that's, that, that's, we, but that's, that's a lot better branding in regards to, you know, when a client sees something and I, and again, it, it, it's all a matter of taste, but when a client sees the email at Yahoo or they see a website that says, Vasile Turkan at VasileTurkan.com, that doesn't bring anything. That doesn't bring any value to the brand. London yeah. Foster has a value. So the idea is that when somebody sees, like let's say myself, if somebody saw my email was memo uh, at Mac.com, you know, they know that I'm using an Apple. That's all there. But if they see memo at LondonFoster.com, then that's a different branding. If someone sees that my website is I'm the best realtor in the world.com, versus memo.londonfoster, it brings, you know, a, a different notoriety. So, so the idea is that you want to uh, take advantage of that. And again, it's something that we provide for free because it benefits the SEOs of the company and it benefits your SEOs. We're all in this together. The better the SEOs are for Basile, the better I'm going to benefit from it, the better that Basile and I have good SEOs, then someone brand new is going to benefit from it. It all raises, raises, raises the SEO count on all of us. Yes. Um, okay. Next will be the CRM. Customer Relationship Management. Very important tool. You can use multiple or different CRM, but here this website will offer you um you know a tool very powerful what you can also use in the same amount you can see here all these leads are coming uh, from the website and if you open one of them for example this one was i don't know 18 hours ago and you open you will be able to see and track the activities look the client goes to testimonials page you see right here the client goes to 
blog page, about page. The client goes to see all details about yourself. This is the first thing I start this webinar. I told you, clients wants to research about you. They do their research. After they go to home valuation, to home, and then they just request, you know, to be contacted back. We can see if they have any favorites, no. Um, we can see if they have any notes. Yes, they have a note. You see, they requested information about this property. You can go now to take a look at the property. You see more details after you get the phone number right here. You give a call to the client. You see, you use your script, of course, and start working with your client. Um, what is important about this CRM is you can use tasks management and you can add tasks here and the calendar and you'll get the reminders. For example, you have some clients, you list their property and you know the lease is for one year, maybe two months before you want to contact them to see if they still want to stay there in that apartment, if they want to move to a bigger one, to a new area, whatever is the reason, because you know, they need two months to write to the landlord uh, a note, they uh, going out. This is why you can make, for example, uh, for that lead, for example, you just rented her a property, you closed, you go to tasks and you can make a task right here and you can set a reminder days how many days before uh, you can put the details you can name the task due date time you can do all the details you'll get an email when you need to contact that client and uh, to do the the to-do list what you have to do for that client it's additional tool what you may spend a little bit or let's say invest a little bit of time but can be paid off for sure because maybe when you call them in eight or ten months maybe they will say well uh we put some money together maybe we will buy now not lease and you get a sale you never know but the client management i mean to be in touch with your clients all the time that's one of the powerful uh, uh professional tool to to be to use um also, what you have in this CRM website is an email drip campaign, or you can call it email blasts. Email blast is a tool when you can send an email to all your contacts, because here in the CRM, uh, you can go to the contacts right here, and you can import, you see this import, and you can import all your list of the contacts. You can import from Gmail, LinkedIn, Yahoo, or if you have in the file, you just import everything here. Now you have all these big lists right here. Maybe you have a question now why the leads are not in the contacts and I can explain. The contacts, it's, uh, contacts are real people, are person who have phone number, email. Leads are the transaction, okay? Lead is not a somebody real. Lead is actually a transaction. This is why uh, from here, from the leads, if you, before you transfer him to contact, you need to qualify to see if he's real, maybe some advertising or some people from Yelp trying to sell you some ads. Um, you able uh, you 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 able to select and to move to contacts. You see, if you qualify as a real person, okay, that's it. You move to contact. You close the deal. Now you see in the contacts, and maybe you want you got a new listing, and you're able to send to everyone. You can select everyone, and you can click on email blast. And here you have actually some emails already prepared. For example, new listing announcement. You choose new listing announcement. See? 
the text is already prepared. Here, you just need to delete this and put the real link and click next and click send. That's it. Maybe you guys are already using some of these tools. Um, that's not forcing you to use in Playster because of course, to use these tools, you need to, to do a couple of times to get familiar, to learn, uh, to watch some videos how to do it. If you don't use any tools, this will be amazing. If you're already using some tools like better, that's good. You don't need to use that. Anyway, you have IDX. Any site that you want to add, you can add. Um, we just had two people add, ask if we can add a third site. You can add whoever you like. There's, um, if you go to my page, I actually have uh, uh, um, uh, a CRM request that I did through an external one. So yeah, you can add as many pages as you like. Now, remember when you're sending someone to an external page, you're benefiting their SEOs, not yourself. So if you link them to dot loop, you're giving benefit to dot loop. They're going away from your website. If you're doing the same thing, if you look at my website, memo.lovenfoster.com, there's one that's there that says, you know, a CRM, um, a CMA, I'm sorry. A, you know, what is my property worth? When people click on that, it's no longer on my website. It's an external site. So I'm not helping my SEOs that way. So my recommendation is limit those to the minimum. That's not the purpose of this website. This purpose of this website is to engage your client. The purpose of this website is to have your client do searches. Um, if it's something like a commercial, like, like what uh, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I think commercial should be handled on a one-on-one -on -one basis, depending on their needs. You can't just send them to a commercial database and expect them to find what they're looking for and be loyal to you. Um, you want to make sure that you that you sign a non-disclosure agreement with a client before they start looking through a commercial. Commercial is a different animal. But on residential, eh, especially when people are looky-loos and they're just starting and they just you know want to get their feet wet, or like Facile said, when you have an active real client that is truly looking at properties, you want them to have the option to like something so that you are able to see hey, listen, they looked at 50 properties, but these three are the three that they want to focus on. They're doing the work for you. Exactly. Um, now I want to show you how to drive some traffic on your website. <laughs> because to have a website is cool and uh, looks professional, but... Basile, before you go there, can I just answer Maria's question? Maria, if you go under londonfoster.net under marketing under idx website it'll show you all the benefits and yes you do get an idx website interactive templates and unlimited pages you also get a crm and you also get a drip campaign a function on there so everything, you get all of that everything i show you here is included in that offer yeah. and on the end I will show you exactly the page where to get it and how to get it. Thank you. Um, now about the traffic. Traffic on the website is the most powerful thing, you know, and important, but also most expensive. The traffic now is very expensive. And I will not give you something new. I will give you something very basic, but it's something you have to do to get some of the traffic to your website. That's uh, social media sharing, very important, social media sharing. You can share any property. You, it's not necessary just your, even if you don't have any properties, you can share already on your social media accounts. And if some beautiful pictures there, you know, like check, check out, check this out, like $50 million property, and people are start going to your website. Some of them maybe will think, wait a second, let me see what's new for sale, you know, maybe in their area. Let's see how much maybe my home is worth, you know, and stuff like that. If you're driving, because traffic is number game. If you're driving, a hundred people to your website, the statistics shows 
you'll have one lead to drive 100 people to your website depends on the uh, tool but you can spend between a hundred and a thousand dollars this is why is uh, it depends what kind of tools you use you can use social media you can use email marketing that means you email the links from your website to your previous clients with some updates for example about real estate uh, you can have for example a list of investors you can upload everything in that CRM in that uh, email campaign system and you can email them maybe once a month some market market updates and they go to your website um, the investors or you can actually get some emails maybe from uh, your gmail list maybe from your linkedin ac account you know you can download from linkedin all the emails and um, yeah and of course one of another tool would be google adwords if you guys are familiar google adwords is a uh, is a tool to, to to pay for for traffic to pay for leads well it's not for leads it's for traffic to pay for people who are looking something to buy for example if we go on Google and we search for example for my um, beach a real estate you see this small ad word that means these three websites they are on Google AdWords uh, when we click on one of these websites we actually the Google will charge them from one dollar per click to I don't know, fifteen dollars per click. It depends of the rate, depends of the words. Um, you can use Google AdWords, of course, but you need somebody professional to set up because they they love to get all the money you you want to spend. I will recommend first to start with online uh, with social media sharing and this is how it works. If you have your listings is of course it's better if you share your listings, but not only you also can, for example, I like these pictures. I see the cool listing nice pictures. I want to share in my Facebook account. You scroll here down and you have the Facebook uh, share button right here and when you click you have this beautiful banner like that and you say check this out amazing okay and you click post on fa to facebook what is happening now let's go to my personal facebook page and see what I actually shared. This is how it looks. Very professional. We'll say the property address here on the top will be your website name. Here will be the website name as well. Can be your personal name, can be luxury real estate, whatever you like. But the most important, when somebody clicks to see more pictures about these listings, they will go to your personal website and they will see this information and your contact information. This is why if you share once in two, three days, a cool, beautiful listing, you will have somebody <clears throat> just check because it's beautiful pictures. But this is how you build step by step more and more and more. When you get to hundreds of people every month, go to your website to check these beautiful properties or some cool stuff. Some of them is converting in customers, just number game. That's it. One customer from a hundred visitors. That's the statistics.
Okay. Um, somebody asked a couple of questions here. A, a, the first one was about sharing pictures. Okay. So guys, I, maybe I didn't make myself clear. The reason why you're able to advertise other people's listings is because it's coming in through IDX. So no, if you're, if it's on your website, if I look at a property, any property on memo.londonfoster.com, I can share that to social media with my clients, with anyone, because it belongs to me. Basically what I've done is I've created an onion skin over the listing so that when my client sees it, all they see is me, even though it belongs to Vasile, it's it, the, all, all they see is me. Um, the other question is, can you keep your website? Absolutely, but you'll go back to the regular pricing, which is $99 a month. Um, obviously, that discount is something that Bobby worked out with Playster, and it's something that we get to benefit from. We get a $60 reduction per month. Again, that's a savings of $720 a year, um, and we get that because we are part of the London Foster team. If you create the website and you're using it and then you decide to leave the company, we won't hold you. We, we, you know, we don't, you can take your website, but unfortunately you will lose the URL and you will also use, lose the special price. Um, yes, but we, we, important question. Yes. yes. This is very cool. I'm sorry. You also can, uh, can keep your website. Yeah, absolutely. It belongs to you. You know, you, you, you paid yeah, for it. So um, pay for, for place. And uh, you will get, you will get, you will go back on the regular pricing. Placer will not give you that thirty-nine dollar discount. And if you click here on pricing, um, you'll see exactly what we're talking about. You can actually call Placer before you sign with us to, you know, to ask some more detailed questions. And you see, they have these options for agents and for brokers. For agents, wow, nine a month. And they charge. So it's really, it's really like eight hundred and fifty dollars that you're saving. Wow. Exactly. That's crazy. And, um, it's a lot. It's a lot. What we will do? We will cut this ninety-nine a month, and we will set up. And we also giving you first ten days. You don't pay for first ten days because setup will take from one to three, four days. Sometimes it's taking longer. You also get some days for free. That's and awesome. instead of 99, you get 39 from us. Um, to get that, and here you have the resources. You have academy, podcasts, blogs, support. They have so much information. It's like a university for IDX website. Can you show them where the videos are? Uh, yes, I need to log in first. That would be awesome. And while Vasil does that, eh, I'm gonna interrupt us here just for a second because we have Bobby here. Let me just unmute Bobby. Ah, Bobby, I'm sorry. Give me just one second. I'm trying to unmute you. I, I can unmute myself. I, I okay, I sorry. Yeah. Just that my fingers are too big. <laughs> so guys, I do, I, obviously I wanna uh, uh, introduce Bobby. This is Bobby Mahalati, our broker. And uh, I'm just going to do a little commercial while Vasil finishes looking that up. So Bobby can say hello. Hey, guys. Thank you for joining us. And, and thanks, uh, Vasily, for um, hooking this up. I appreciate it. It's, um, um, you guys are learning from uh, one of the best. And um, we do these, these uh, uh, of course, for everyone who's already uh, with us. You know that we do this on a regular basis. Of course, now we're doing it here on Zoom. And we're doing it more frequently because these are a lot easier. I think you actually get more out of these from Zoom, even though you know every part has its benefits, whether you're doing it at the office or whether you're doing it here. Um, at the office has its benefits as well. And we're going to continue that as soon as Miami Beach and Miami opens back up, hopefully soon, Lord willing. And um, we also have the benefits of doing it here, which um, it's much easier. It's much easier for us. It's much easier for you to actually be here. We have a, more, a, a much bigger turnout. But um, you actually are getting hands-on experience here. And I um, want to thank you for coming. And for those of you who are with us, you know that we do this on a regular basis. For those of you who are not with us, you can come see firsthand um, what we offer on a regular basis and much more. Um, we, we look forward to you guys coming and signing up with us. And uh, we just want to welcome you to the family. But, um, if you guys need any of his information, you could always reach out to me. 
memo at londonfoster.com or for our agents, you can go under, like I showed you, vendors and go under the mortgages. So yeah, Vasily, go ahead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have a question here, it says, uh, just to understand, we pay $39 per month and we can use Playster also as a CRM. The answer is yes. Everything I just show you on the back office, on the Playster website, that's a basic website we actually offering for just $39 a month. Includes CRM and email campaigns and the IDX, of course. The answer is yes. Now, <clears throat> I logged in and here you have the support and you have all the categories they offering. You can go by, by search and whatever you questions you have, how to do that, or how to, for example, how to mapping your GoDaddy domain to Playster, you can go here and they will have actually step-by-step -step with video instructions how to do it. To copy the IP address, to click there. But I told you, some stuff like that we all also do for you. What you need to do is to email me the GoDaddy credentials uh, just make a temporary password. I will uh, log in there and I will map your website or your domain to, to place their website for you. Um, now, I showed you guys how much Playster is charging. This is how you actually get the website from us. When you log in in the back office on LondonFoster.net, in the menu in marketing, you have my IDX website. You click there and you see here you actually have this offer. $39 a month, you get the IDX, the CRM and the drip campaign for the emails. It's very easy. And I says, I, I will be ready next two, three days. We're actually offering 10 days for free in case of we are a little bit late, in, but 10 days is the latest will be ready. Uh, super easy form, you just put your contact information. Here you put the name before londonfoster.com. For example, you want bobby.londonfoster.com or your first name, right? Because I need to see what kind of, uh, what exactly you want. Here you include if you have your own personal domain, I will uh, map that. You just put credit card information and submit. That's it, you'll get the confirmation and we will start working on your website right away. Uh, after that, you will get an email in two, three days from us, from me, uh, will be with Playster login information. That login information, I just wanna repeat one more time because I mentioned nobody's logging in, will be to log in to your back office right here. When you get here on the top, you have IDX, what you don't need to use because we already will set up for you. You just use the CRM and email campaign. If you need to edit your website, you click on these three dots and click on edit site. And you open right here this menu with all the features. Um, <coughs> Let's say some Q and A as well, if you guys have any additional questions. I wanna make sure I answer everything. Okay, I guess we don't have any questions. Um, um, but Sile, could you just show again where the videos are? Okay, um, the support is right here. You have this question on the right corner. Uh -huh. You have question mark, you click right here and it's opening this new portal, so it's support.playstore.com. Um, not if you scroll the, down, there's like a library, right? If you scroll yes. down, there's like a library, there you go. Not all the articles have video, but- okay. has But video. I thought there was a section, I thought there was a section that said video on it. Um, no, they actually have it before, but they did some changes. Ah, okay, okay. 
but there on the right hand side it doesn't say getting started it's yeah, okay. already customizing your website i think that was it click on customizing your website that one how to domain pages menu pages click on that one here video you see some of them has video video okay awesome video content up some of them yeah. has some of them don't it's Before. super simple it's like it's literally it's like it's like for dummies I, I i was watching the video on my laptop while i was working on the desktop and i was able to do everything like super super simple like next step next step next step it was very very simple very good awesome <laughs> So again, yes, you go into the back office, londonfoster.net, you log in, you go under marketing. Under that marketing, we have all of our marketing suite, everything from headshots to business cards to any kind of promotional material. And within that, I believe it's the third or fourth one, it says my IDX website. You can click on there, fill out the form. We will construct the entire website for you. Once it is ready, it'll go up live the way all you're paying for is the hosting there is no setup fee and the other thing that's amazing and i don't know if you mentioned it vasile um is that you can cancel at any time so you don't have a commitment that you have to you know get, get sign a contract for four years and that you have to pay it you, you can sign it and and cancel you know three months later if something happened or you decide to quit real estate so it's actually a really cool offer because most of these um most of these idx website com com companies they make you sign up for a year or they make you pay in advance and i'm sure many of you have done that um if there's no more questions i want to um, i just wanted to ask a quick question real quick yes. Go ahead. towards the end when um i know you said that the um driving traffic is the tricky part and um what do you recommend as far as driving traffic? I recommend to start with social media, to start sharing the listings. Also in the social media groups, if you remember, we have an amazing training with a social media guru, he applied from North and uh, we did in Canada. That training, that guy was explaining and teaching us how to create groups in Facebook. Oh, the Jeff Lop, that the Jeff, the Jeff Lop group. Um, Jeff, yes, yes. And how to learn that? For example, in Facebook, you can find the groups by neighborhood, by interest. Okay, you can get these links and once a while share there the links from your website. Not necessary to be your properties, and um, this is how you start to build the traffic. When you start to build the traffic some of these people will leave the contact information. When the, um, you know, they leave the contact information, you contact maybe 10 of them, maybe one of them will go out with you to see some properties and you close the deal. This is how it works. Yeah. If I can add right. to that, um, you know, it's a constant effort. It's, it is social media, it is emails, it is uh, Facebook campaigns. It's also on your business card. It's meeting someone and sending them a link. Um, one of the things that I did was I created a neighborhood. So every page, every neighborhood has a page. So when I meet someone and they tell me, I'm not looking for a realtor, I'm not interested in real estate. I want never to hear from you ever again. I, I say, great, let me send you a link to my website so you can see what's on the market that's competing against your property. Even if you don't care, just check out my website. So it's a constant effort. But Vasile gave a great idea, which is, you know, this is free going on your social media and posting things that, that drive people back to your website has no cost. And what better place to start than with your circle of influence? You know, the people you went to high school with, the people that know you from the gym, the people that you go running with, your friends, your family. You know, if they, if they don't know that you're a realtor, it's because you're not posting enough stuff on your social media and letting them know. So share some properties, share your blog, share, um, uh, your reviews, share, uh, you know, whatever it might be. 
you know, but you share from your website because that way when they click on it, they come back to your website. That's the whole, the whole trick. The whole trick is bringing people back to your website. Um, what was the um, am amount that you said, you, you gave some numbers like it was um, like uh, every hundred people that click on your, or what was those figures again? I was going by rule 1%. Oh, the 1% rule, okay. Right, so. Um, if you drive traffic, if you drive a thousand people. Right. More right. Drive, how many people will get one, uh, one lead or maybe one customer. Right, right. Um, I, I know that driving traffic is, is, is so many different resources, but whenever you're, you're driving traffic, it's, it's really related to the, I guess, the engagement and content that you've given on, it's either the organic, which is related to the uh, engagement and content that you're putting out there, or it's the paper clicks, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I was thinking today to talk more about the traffic or more about specifics about website. And I decided about website because traffic is a totally different training. Right. You know, I agree. It's, it's yeah. So complex. Yeah. This Somebody website. asked a couple of questions. They asked about the billing. Um, like Vasila said, the moment that you sign up for the website, it's given a 10 day delay. So that'll be like basically 40 days later is when you get your first, your second bill. And then it's charged automatically uh, to your credit card that you provided until, you know, if you cancel or something like that. And then another question that somebody asked here. I'm sorry. Um, social media training. Absolutely. If you go to LondonFoster.net under marketing, there is a link for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter with uh, four different um, trainings. If you want to call it, it guides you step by step on how to create any of those pages. So if you have not created those pages for yourself, make sure you visit LondonFoster.net under marketing, and I believe it's almost at the bottom, right, Basile? It's almost at the bottom of the, of the list. Uh, yes. Uh, you can go there. I don't know if I can share my, my screen real quick. I'll show you guys real quick. Can I do that? No, uh, all right. It's a webinar set up, so you can't do that. Oh, okay. No, no, I yeah. can't, okay. Um, can you share it, Basile? Um, okay. Under LondonFoster.net. Okay, we just got here a, a question. Somebody is suggesting to have a future uh, suggestions to go to the future. How to attract traffic to your event? To no, that, that's exactly what Vasil just said. That that's going to be the next training. We'll do that. Right. Right. Okay. right. Oh, Vasil, can you show them on LondonFoster.net? Yeah, thank you. Okay. What do you, you want to go wanna... under marketing? You go under marketing. Scroll all the way to the bottom under marketing. Oh, no, it's under education, right? Where is it? The, okay, what are you looking for? The Facebook, how to create a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I think it's under education. That would be yeah. under education. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah. so under education, scroll all the way to the bottom. Okay. Is it there? Yes, right there here. There you go. So there's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And basically it walks you step by step on how to create any of those accounts. Yep. Yeah. So Carmen, yeah, the, those are the links right there. Rachel, thank you again. If there's no more questions, I want to thank Vasile for always being such a great resource. Bobby, thank you for being here. I want to make sure, because I wanted to introduce Joe, but I don't know if he, if he came back. Oh, there he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Allow Joe to talk. Joe, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, wonderful. Yes, okay. So, can we see you? No. Yeah, and I don't know. There we go. Okay, so yeah, guys, this is Joe Mahalati. He's one of our vendors. He, you know, surprised us and visited us today during this training. Uh, Joe is our mortgage guy, so if you guys, I think he just shared all his information. Wonderful, Joe. Thank you. 
Um, so again, just want to, you know, let you know that we have this resource, like we have many vendors. Uh, Joe is one, Joe is one of our great vendors. He does our mortgages for us. So if you guys have any questions, uh, you can reach out to him personally. Yeah, good to, good to be here. Thanks guys. A vastly great presentation, man. Um, and I want to let you guys know, yeah, I'm here for you guys if you need anything. Um, if one of the one of the things I really want to press um, that I think is really important, especially as we're dealing with this COVID and coming out of it, is how important it is to capture leads and and clients. Um, this IDX is just one mechanism. It's it's great. You know, you have your social media, you have your different uh, vehicles to do that. But really important using your CRM, uh, staying in touch with the clients. I. I just can't express how important that is because, you know, as this, there's a lot of people who are put, putting deals on ice right now and they're just kind of holding off. You don't, you want to keep them on your radar. And uh, one of the things that what I like to do with my agents is absolutely is stay in touch with clients. So one of the things that I can show you is that when I'm working with clients, I'm staying in touch with them. I think it is one of the best ways to just, again, stay in their face, um, with, especially with what's going on. Uh, look at, I want you to look at Joe Mortgage as an extension of your office, guys. You know, that's what I'm here for, to help you guys in any way I can. So uh, good to be here. And um, again, great job, uh, Bass. All right, we'll put your contact information in the, um, in the chat as well, or Daniel. He, he just put it in, he just put it okay. into the chat. So okay, guys, cool. thank you again. I'm just gonna wrap this up. Uh, Bobby, is there anything else you wanna say? Just remember everybody the webinar. Remember we have a training next week. If you're not a London Foster agent, I recommend you do two things. One, visit our website. It's www.joinlondonfoster.com. And you can do one of two things. One, you can go to the little hamburger, the little three lines up top. Um, visit that site and go to the to the hamburger and look for the frequently asked questions. It'll be um, Vasila. Can you can you go to joinlondonfoster.com so they can see it? Thank you. Um, if you go there to joinlondonfoster.com, if you go to the little hamburger, um, which is the top little three lines, there's a video from Bobby, which is great because it'll give you an idea. But you can also go to the FAQ, frequently asked questions, right there. There you go. If you click on FAQ, it'll it'll take you down to it. But basically, we just updated it. We have like 37 of the most popularly asked questions by realtors. So you can click on any of the questions and you'll get a full answer on it. But then if you want to go back up fast, you can click on the little blue square. Go back up to the top. Please leave card on Amazon. So you can go to the top and it can actually request a call. So if you click right there where it says request a phone call, someone on our onboarding or our, um, our recruiting team will reach out to you and we can start and uh, have a conversation. And obviously we would love to have you attend the London Foster 101. What we do is basically five times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at noon, we do something called the London Foster 101. It's a great opportunity. Vasil is there filling out a little form. So if you guys want to call back, uh, but it's a great opportunity for you to uh, find out about London Foster and find out about what we do, our compensation. We walk you through our marketing. We show you our back office. We tell you about our education. And, uh, and uh, it's just a great opportunity for you guys to find out a little bit about London Foster, find out how great of a company we are, why we've grown the way we have, uh, over 500 agents in two years and um, get you guys started on making a hundred percent commission. B, you have anything else to say before we hang up? Um, no, that's it. Thanks, Baz. I appreciate <laughs> it. Um, he's definitely one of the uh, um, professionals, one of the best in this area. So you're, you're learning from one of the best. And, um, um, and uh, I can tell you that if you put this effort to work, everything that, uh, he'd explain and everything that he went through it'll now not only educate you but it'll save you a lot of money because either you can do it yourself which is relatively easy the the more technology improves the easier it is 
um, or you can pay someone to do it. So um, I recommend, you know, definitely learning it and, and getting through this um, and learning as much as you can and, and applying it as much as you can. Um, and then, like he said, which is a very good point, is that the driving traffic and social media and everything like that, that's a totally different part of it. This is your, you know, your IDX connection, your website, your, 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 your you know, setting it up with your CRM and everything like that. And then you have the other part. So, um, um, again, thanks, Raz. I appreciate your help. And uh, I look forward to, uh, you know, again, and, uh, and, and, and um, you know, joining whoever's not with us to the family. And I look forward to working with you guys again soon.